Washington. Kimberly Bookman is live on the scene for us. Kimberly. Well, Heather, we are here on Vassar Street. You can see this busy and active scene right here over my shoulder. At this moment, an incident command truck is moving in. You can see that there is police crime tape all over this area. Now, an alert was sent out to MIT students and faculty saying that at 1048 this evening, shots were fired around building number 32. That's the building in the far corner over there, Dave. You can see actually the uh, glass windows underneath it. We understand from people out here on the scene, there's a food court below there, and it's just a gathering spot. We're not exactly sure what went down, what caused these shots to be fired. What we do know is that this area is all cordoned off for several, several blocks. We did see the MIT police chief here and he confirmed that one of his officers was down. Go ahead and take a look at the video. You can see this very active scene out here. So there's canines out here. There are troopers from state police, from Cambridge police, um, from the transit police, as well as MIT police all here on the scene. Now we were at MGH earlier this evening covering a different story and at that time we saw half a dozen cruisers rush into the emergency room as well as an MIT police cruiser and we do believe that that may have been carrying the victim in one of the ambulances ambulances and sirens that were going off in all of that uh, confusion at that point. Right now we do not have the condition, the name, or exactly what happened, how many gunshots were fired. Again, a very active scene out here at this point. You can see there are several um, different people gathering out here on the scene. They, these are several students, but also there are many media people here who are covering the marathon situation that have come down to the scene as well. So very active, lots of attention right now, and trying to get all of those details, and we will bring them to you when we find so uh, frightening for a, a lot of people, and bottom line is uh, we've lost an MIT police officer yep. responding to a disturbance call tonight. It happened uh, somewhere between 10.30 and 10.50. Uh, people heard a number of shots fired, and in fact he, uh, according to the Middlesex District Attorney's Office, was shot uh, multiple times, uh, transported to the hospital, pronounced deceased there. No other victims, but still no word of any arrests. Uh, so the focus here is finding uh, the person responsible, which is a familiar theme here in Boston this week. We'll Boston police have arrested one man with unconfirmed reports another is still at large after a campus police officer was shot and killed Thursday night at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Yeah, I'm on uh, Spruce, which is clearing the street very slowly. House by house, uh... Shots were fired outside the MIT building shortly after 10.30 p.m. local time. A short time later, police reported exchanging gunfire with alleged carjackers in a nearby town. Students have been told to remain inside during the ongoing police operation.